everybody, Hooded Cobra Commander 788 here, and it's been a while since we've done one of these short videos with just a brief look at a G.I. Joe toy, and I thought it would be fun. So let's take a brief look at the 1988 Iron Grenadiers Anti-Gravity Pod, or AGP, and the Pilot Nullifier. The AGP and the Nullifier were part of the inaugural lineup of the Iron Grenadiers. That was Destro's Private Army, which was a faction sometimes opposed to both G.I. Joe and Cobra. The AGP is in those classic Iron Grenadiers colors of black, red, and gold. It looks a little strange, but remember all Iron Grenadiers vehicles were designed by Destro, and everything Destro designs is a little crazy. Up here in front we have two gold guns. They can move, and the main body of the vehicle is in black. Of course I think this looks great. These are excellent colors for the Iron Grenadiers. Unfortunately, the Iron Grenadiers strayed away from these classic colors later in the line. It has a pair of large red jet engines, or I guess these are anti-gravity engines, since this is the anti-gravity pod. These engines can tilt for vertical takeoff and landing. The AGP is armed with four gold missiles, two on each wing, and then in the back it has this cute little fin, which also can move. In the front it has a big red canopy, and that can open to reveal the cockpit, and that is where you can place the pilot, the Nullifier. The Nullifier is a peculiar figure for the 1988 Iron Grenadiers lineup. For one thing, he doesn't have any of the classic Iron Grenadiers colors. The figure is mostly a light tan. This is not the only figure in the 1988 Iron Grenadiers lineup to have this tan color. The driver of the Demon Tank, the Ferret, also had tan, but on the Nullifier is missing the rest of the classic Iron Grenadiers colors. There is no gold, no red, and just a little spot of black on his pistol holster. That's not to say the Nullifier is a bad figure, not at all. It's a very interesting figure. It just seems out of place with the 1988 Iron Grenadiers lineup. There's even some speculation as to whether this figure was originally intended to be an Iron Grenadiers figure. The Nullifier has this sort of pinkish color visor, and that can flip up. That's not a bad feature. That feature was copied on the 1989 Iron Grenadier's Targat. On the rest of the figure, there is some interesting, if peculiar, sculpting with some pockmarked armor and some sculpted-on hieroglyphs uh, and some padding in that pinkish color and a pistol holster on his right hip. It is an intriguing figure, but if I didn't know better, I would not guess this was an Iron Grenadiers figure. There will definitely be plenty to say about the AGP and the Nullifier when I get around to doing a full review. I'm not quite ready to do a full review yet. I still need to find the Nullifier's file card. For now, that was just a quick look at the 1988 Destro's Iron Grenadiers AGP and the Pilot Nullifier. I hope you enjoyed it. This channel does full in-depth G.I. Joe toy reviews every Sunday, so if you're not subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing subscribing and hitting the notification bell. As always, you can find me on social media, on Facebook and Twitter, and I have a website, hcc788.com. I'll be back with you this Sunday for a full vintage G.I. Joe toy review. I hope to see you then. And until then, remember, only G.I. Joe is G.I. Joe.